Welcome back, people. Today, the topic is how to burn fat. Okay, so in my opinion, and it's been proven, burning fat the fastest will be with keto. So, you want to know how much fat you're going to burn. Well, that depends on how much you weigh now. If you're obese now, then you're going to burn a lot of fat real fast. If you had a plateau, it's going to take a little bit more time to burn the fat, but I guarantee you, you will. It's worked great for me, and I modified the diet for building muscle at the same time. Uh, also, you need to make sure that you exercise. How much you exercise is also going to depend on how much fat you're burning. I exercise six days a week, and then sometimes uh, after a few months, I'll have a time where I only exercise maybe two or three times a week to give my body a proper rest. And remember to, to, to make sure that you're exercising each individual muscle group. What can you eat? Well, turkey, chicken, barbecue, that means pork sausage as well. Bacon, they got these things called fat bombs. You'll get real creative in the kitchen. There's a lot of diets out, a lot of um, modified recipes out there to help with boring things in the keto diet. Uh, you can eat salmon and cheese, broccoli, asparagus, lettuce, spinach. Those are those will give you your vitamin C's, the nutrition, nutrients, excuse me, good Lord, I can't talk, that you need to make a balanced diet. So the idea is to have high fats, stay less than 30 grams of carbs, and moderate proteins. Now, if you're trying to build muscle, on the other hand, having, you've got to modify that to more protein. Cheat days. Now, everybody wants to know when can you go off of it. You don't necessarily have to have a cheat day, but if you're going to on the keto diet, what you need to remember is to have a carb day, not a cheat day. Don't put in a lot of sugars in your body. Do not do that. So on your carb days, you know, have you some rice, um, some bread. So don't go overboard with it. Have a burger if you like. <laughs> Don't go out and get a sundae or eat a whole plate of brownies. By the way, keto brownies and almond milk is a pretty good choice if you decide to keto diet. Can you build muscle? Yes, you can. For sure. You can build muscle. You can it's this diet is really easy to cut on too. But yes, you can build muscle. Is it safe? Yes, it is safe. Do not listen to these people that have vested money and time into other diets and say that keto isn't safe. The one thing that you need to understand is this. Worry about cholesterol. That's where you may have a problem. If you have high cholesterol, you need to modify the diet where only healthy fats are coming in. So you may not be able to eat pork and you may not be able to eat eggs. You can eat egg whites. You may not be able to drink regular milk because of cholesterol, but you can have almond milk. You can still get a high volume of healthy fats into your body, which I rec uh, even if you don't have high cholesterol, I recommend that you still put mostly healthy fats into your diet on the keto diet. Will you have energy? Yes, you will. Because basically what you're doing is turning your body into a fat-burning machine. So you're going to change out carb energy for fat energy. And that's basic ex uh, a basic ex uh, example of ketosis. I'm sorry. Will you stay hungry? No. No, and especially if you're trying to put on pounds of muscle... You can't be in a caloric deficit. You have to be in a caloric surplus. And at that point, you're going to force yourself to put in more calories. I highly, highly suggest that you use protein powders, protein shake. I use organic. Do I don't like whey. 
here's the benefit. If you have acne problems, keto will clear that up, clear that up for me. Everything that I've seen about the keto diet, from my experience, from watching other people, from research, everyone has had clear skin behind this. Digestive. Okay, so the only problem I ran into digestive problems with is when you carve back up. When you carve back up, uh, it could be a little strenuous on your next bowel movement. Can you go out to eat? Oh, yes, most definitely. Barbecue places, you can most definitely go to. Uh, there's plenty in Texas. This is where I'm at. Plenty, plenty in Texas. Even if you don't go to a barbecue place, you can go to Applebee's, Chili's. You can even go to fast food places. You can modify these menus. So you have a lot of people, uh, places that like to sell, uh, uh, serve and sell salmon with rice. Take the rice off. Replace the rice with broccoli or asparagus. Chicken and rice. Take the rice off. Put broccoli in, in there. Have them, make sure you know what's going into your body. Pastas and things, look, Olive Garden is pretty much out the question. <laughs> Not on keto. That is a keto no-no. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask. I'll be covering other diets, but I promise you, from my experience, this is one of the most, this is one of the most talked about and used diets because how well it works leave your comments down below for questions suggestions of any diets that you would like to hear about i've done a lot of them like subscribe share let's get those subscribers up thank you for coming